Yo, dudes and dudettes, Die Harvesting here, and I'm back again with another unboxing video, and I'm gonna be unboxing another uh, mecha type of anime um, type of thing. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like Evangelion, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's of the anime called Gunbuster, and the figure of the actual Gunbuster itself. Um, it actually arrived yesterday, but I managed to get some time today to actually do the video. So it came all the way from Japan, and it took quite a while to actually arrive. I ordered this like maybe, uh, I don't know, almost a month ago, and only now it arrived. But I love like the box for it, man. Look at that. It looks nice and slick, very nice. So you can see it in like full detail here. Obviously the uh, figure is probably not going to be as like polished as it looks on the pictures, but you know, that's the usual. And look at that, man. It looks so cool. Obviously, I can't read any of this. Uh, I need to learn my kanji, man, honestly. But yeah, like, um, it should be getting all these, like, little uh, parts that you can attach to it and stuff like that. Um, and this is actually one of the secondary best um, conditions that you can get for this figure. Because there was, like, free or something. I can actually show you. You can see this is uh, how much I pay for it. So it was around £35. Not too shabby. Um, because, honestly, I've read the, the reviews on it. And apparently this one was actually pretty good um, and then obviously if I go to the one I was looking at beforehand so this one over here for 28 pound uh, it got quite a bad rating and apparently the figure isn't even that great of a detail um, so I was just like nah fuck that <laughs> so I went for like the medium range but honestly look at this man you can get this guy at like a proper proper detailed one for 150 quid, man, like plus 22 pound worth of uh, shipment, man. But I ain't doing that, man. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> so yeah, it's. Uh, I'm glad that this finally came because um, I actually ordered this along with a Gundam figure, uh, which I will be doing in another video. <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing to to keep uh, keep updated with. But uh, yeah, for those of you who actually haven't watched Gunbuster, I really recommend it because. Um, Funny enough, it was actually directed by um, Anno, uh, the guy who's behind Evangelion. Um, like, the team of Gainax actually made it. Like, it says it here as well. It's officially on there, so you know it's official. You can tell that it's definitely got, like, Anno's influence because it reminds me a lot of, like, Evangelion with, like, the pilots and uh, the mechas and all that as well, but less depressive, at least. So you got to thank him for making something less depressing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, I'd say it's, it's like a... Um, a mixture between Evangelion and Macross a little bit. I mean, this came out in the 1980s. Well, more specifically, 1988. Yeah, you can really tell from like the age and the, st the style of the cell shaded animation as well. As you can see, like pictures here, I got them up. Um, so yeah, it looks a lot like Macross over here as well. Basically, the story is about a uh, main character called Noriko. This story is based on her and her father. Her father was an admiral who uh, got defeated in space. Uh, when he was going out against these aliens that the um, story is basically about and long story short is there's a school where she goes to where she's trying to learn how to use a mechas uh, but funny enough she's actually the most klutziest uh, character that there is uh, basically she's an absolute klutz she reminds me of Usagi from Sailor Moon in the beginning and she meets this girl named Amano who is the complete opposite of her and uh, they become like best friends and anything and become like teammates to basically go into space and uh, join basically like this sort of space colony to go up against these aliens that are basically far superior in technology. This is based in like 2023? Yeah, the year 2023. Uh, but it goes off into like the future and everything like that, space, thanks to space travel and all that. So it's very complicated when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, but it's very detailed. I love like the cell animation for this anime uh, The aesthetics as they call it is like absolutely brilliant It's like uh, I really recommend it to people who actually want to watch it and yeah the gunbuster is basically this epic Mecha that's like massive. Uh, it's even more bigger than like the um, the Avas uh, in, the, in the actual size if I'm not mistaken and uh, yeah, it just basically beats the shit out of like all these alien ships and everything like are like ten times bigger than it and uh, yeah, it's just an epic battle of proportions in space, and that's what I love about it, man. So um, yeah, so for anyone who actually hasn't watched it, I recommend it, man. It's really good. It's like top notch, top notch. Um, so yeah, let's get into the actual unboxing instead of like going on and on about it. Um, so yeah, let's get this thing open. All right, there we go. So there we go. This is the uh, the actual figure. 
Right, let me just go over here so you can actually see it. It comes with everything that it needs to. Uh, let me actually open up the plastic. All right, so I managed to take off the plastic, and this is how it looks like in clear vision. So, uh, yeah, I like it, man. It looks really cool. Oh, something dropped. So, um, basically, yeah, you got the uh, some of the accessories like the baseball bat, which uh, they actually used in the anime to beat up like some of the alien um, spaceships and stuff like that. You got the spike rods that produce electricity, uh, which reenacts like the um, the scene where they're being squashed or even impaled as well at one point against a uh, an alien ship, and um, they use that to f get free from them. It was a pretty badass scene, but uh, I'll let you watch that <laughs> because it's it's really cool, man. I'm not gonna spoil anything. And then the next thing here is the accessories, like these over here as well. So this is like the heart that it actually pulls out near the end. And, um, yeah, this is the chest piece that you can put onto there. you got the hands to change, like, the different poses. Not too sure on what the hell you do with these two. Uh, but thankfully we got ourselves the, the guide, but everything is in Japanese, as you may have guessed. So it's not really helpful. <laughs> but, uh, otherwise, yeah, I think it's pretty substantial, man. It's, like, it's really easy to, to set up. It's not like a gunpla when I actually have to, like, set everything up with the pieces and everything. So, uh, I'm really glad for that. And then on the back, there's nothing. <laughs> Right, there's nothing on it. Uh, so yeah, the only thing I've noticed is that there's a, um, uh, yeah, that like drill thing that he uses, uh, like they use when they're, um, when they're fighting against like the aliens, they use like one part of like the drill on their, the foot. But um, for some reason it didn't come with this. I think it's uh, an additional accessory that I have to buy separate. So I'm not too sure on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this set up so I can show it off in all its poses. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> That concludes my review of the Gunbuster figure, and I gotta say, overall, the figure is really awesome. Um, I like that the fact that you can move around his arms and legs so freely, so the uh, the articulation for it is actually really well made. Um, even for a plastic figure, it's got really good material to it, and it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, the only issue for me is that the legs, the legs are such an annoyance to actually set up because he keeps on dropping regardless if you put him on a flat surfaced area or not. Um, but other than that, you know, I can also, there's another thing is the, um, the, the heart when you rip, like when you put it on his heart, you know, the, um, to replicate the, uh, the, the, the scene where he like rips out his heart. Um, like the heart keeps on trying to drop from like the chest plate. That's the, one of the most annoying parts. And also the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, electric rods as well. For some reason, they took me so long to actually put up on his legs because it kept on dropping. I don't understand why the, uh, the electric rods are just not, like, glued onto the actual, um, placements for it. But for some reason, it's not. So they keep falling off, and that is annoying. Uh, but once it's all set up and everything, it's pretty much a really cool figure. Like, overall, it's an awesome figure. And I love the anime itself. So, uh, yeah, if you guys never heard of the actual anime and never watched it, I recommend it to you, man. Because, like, Gynex, man. Ganex did a really good job, man. Like, this guy right over here, man. Ganex. <laughs>
he did a, a they did a really good job. I mean, they they did a pretty awesome job at Evangelion, and um, this was made before that. So uh, yeah, I suggest that for anyone who's a fan of mecha mecha animes and uh, space fighting type animes as well. You know, all that cool stuff, man. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for more for the next unboxing. I don't know when that's going to be. And, uh, yeah, uh, leave this co uh, this video a like. Maybe comment if you want to. Subscribe. You know the jazz. And, as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.